So Contact 8, it's about two years ago that they dropped Contact 7, so it was time for an update, right? In this video, I'm going to check out if it's worth it for you to upgrade to Contact 8. And if you're completely new in music production, let me give you a, a, a brief overview of what Contact is. In essence, it's a sampler which works or stand alone to play with your keyboard or electronic drum kit or you can use it as a plug-in in your DAW but that doesn't seem like much right but it's the whole ecosystem which native instruments gives us so they have like hundreds and hundreds of sample library VSTs so virtual instruments that you can add into contact just buying contact you will get a shit ton of free instruments and not only native instruments uh, creates uh, sample libraries from for contact also third-party developers you can create if you have the complete full license contact you can create your own flute library right. so and you have two versions you have the contact free player and you have the contact that's how they call it I'm not going to dive in the differences between these two just google it and go to their website if you want to know it in this video it's contact 8 full okay Red Pack drums. so here in my door I put them next to each other and at first glance they look pretty similar right so in contact 8 it's immediately obvious they added some features here so here you got the filter right if you want to find your sounds because if you have a lot of libraries this is goddamn handy so let's first jump into tools tools so they added two tools to contact eight chords and phrases so okay what's chords tool essentially you can play chords with one finger all these circles represent a chord so I loaded up a melodic instrument, Alicia's Keys Electric. And if I disengage this chord thingy. Okay, you can play it like any piano. I'm not a piano player. Right? So for me, this is really great because I engage this chord tool and I'm playing chords. With one finger you can randomize the chords by clicking this uh, uh, dice okay you get the idea you can just randomize each of these chords by clicking the dice uh, you can move these chords to your DAW all at once like this or one by one so that's really handy for people who cannot play chords on the piano you can go an octave up and down yeah, you get the idea and I really like this humanize and strum function so normally it sounds like this and if I and I can go up and down cool also I can humanize it a bit and what that does is it adjusts the timing velocity and it can skip uh, randomly so that gives it a lot more of humanized feel to it right otherwise it's just a fucking robot playing king 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 and we don't want that okay really cool a really handy tools so if I have a song written in the minor I click on this lock then every time I roll this dice it stays in the minor the, the chords stay in the minor so if you're working on a song with the specific uh, key in mind yeah you can really fast flip through these chords and stay in the key of the song <laughs> really great so this chord tool is really great for idiots like me who cannot play chords on the piano. Okay, next. Red Pack 
Drums. Tools. Let's add these phrases. So what does these phrases do? Play you a melody with one finger. Works a bit the same with these dice. Okay, let's speed that up. Tempo twice as fast. We can add some swing to it. Okay, it's a bit high. Let's go an octave below that. We have some dynamics here. What the fuck does that do? Pretty obvious, right? So here you have seven notes where you can put on different melodies. You can see that it's switching here, D mixolydian. I want them to be all in D minor. So I'm gonna lock it, click on roll the dice, roll the dice, and roll the dice. So they're all in the key, right? So essentially there's a shit ton of pre-made MIDI files in this thing. Which you can click through there. You can see it added it to the phrase tool, but you can go in and manipulate this um, this thing by rotating it, inverting it, different keys, different tempos, different dynamics. Also, there's a filter here. We need a pop thing, a simple. Monophonic, yes, Ignite. And if you like this, you can just drag and drop it if you want to modify it even more into your DAW. So just like the chords tool, really handy for when you're having a writer's block or you cannot play the fucking piano, right? Click through these things, which one you like and add it to your DAW and then you can do whatever you want with it. Really liking these fast tools. Also, to me, this looks like they're going to add a lot more tools. So these are predominantly for melodic instruments, right? And not really for drums. I would love to see they will be adding MIDI files and randomizes, phrases, chords, thingies for drums, right? So that you can add some drum library and find the right beat for you with these handy tools. But I think these things will come. So tools, really cool. Leap. Red back drums. So essentially Leap is the back end sampler put into the front end with a user friendly uh, user interface, right? So in Leap, you have 16 nodes to add samples. And these are pre-made packages, right? Afro beats. So you can see if I click on this thing, this is all drums and percussion. And here you got some melodies. And you can Manipulate all these things, right? So you can shorten the samples if you want to snap it to the grid. Click the grid button over here. And you can see it snaps to the beat. Really handy. Yeah, there's a shit ton of uh, options here to manipulate uh, the samples, but you can already straight out of the box play something. And you can hear that it automatically syncs up the samples. So the white keys are the samples and the black keys are manipulators. You can see here some manipulators. So octave down, octave up. Some repetitive shit. Faster, slower. Yeah, you can be really creative with this. But 
really goddamn easy. Okay, cool, leap. If you want a more comprehensive explanation on this leap, I will link Native Instruments video on, on Contact 8 and there's a, a AI robot uh, explaining a lot more of the features of this leap. So also, if you want me to review one of the sample libraries in this complete 15 bundle, please let me know in the comments and I will test it out, make a review on this channel. So subscribe if you want more videos about contact and contact libraries. Red Pack Drums. So what do I think of this new update? To me, it, yeah, it feels like Contact 7. Not that much of a difference. You can go, yeah, you have a new window, new view. But yeah, the biggest difference, right, is these tools, these chords and phrases you can add to your uh, to your instruments and create instant chords and melodies. So for who is this? Yeah, if you can play piano and if you're writing your own songs already, yeah, you don't really need this right you just play it with contact 7 right with your existing libraries and you can add new libraries if you want but if you're not a piano player I am a musician I can play guitar but I cannot play piano I know how to make triads right but this is really intuitive really easy to add chords and melodies to your productions so if you're new to VSTs, yeah, this is a really great tool to instantly create chords and melodies. If you're some veteran already creating music 20, 30 years, yeah, you don't really need this, right? You can already play. So, okay, hope you like this short and fast overview of the new possibilities of Contact 8. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci.